Alright guys, welcome back. This will be our last video out of Chapter 10 material. And this is also the uh, completion of the first chapter in Unit 4. So, let's go ahead and get started with this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about diffusion and effusion. Okay, diffusion is basically the mixing of two gases due to the molecular motion. So, basically, when someone would spray a perfume bottle, like you see in this picture here, uh, it takes a little while, but eventually the smell uh, is able to travel um, across the room and everyone can smell it, okay? Like deodorant and things like that, where you can smell them. Uh, you know, even someone passing gas is an example of diffusion. All right, now, the other type is effusion. It's just the movement of gas through a tiny opening into a vacuum. Anyway, you can look at these definitions and cover them and be fine. Okay, next thing is Graham's Law out of section 10.7. It basically tells us this. The heavier the gas molecule is, the slower it will defuse and effuse. Okay, so we can relate molar mass to basically how fast it moves no matter what. Okay, whether if it's defusion or effusion. Now, uh, here's a picture that they uh, we might want to discuss. Uh, ideally, we, you would think that if you set two, um, you know, here we have hydrochloric acid aqueous and ammonia aqueous. You think that if we set these two into motion at the exact same time, they would meet in the middle. But notice they don't exactly meet in the middle when they form their their product. Notice that <laughs> it's formed to the left side. The reason why it's formed closer to the HCl than it is the NH3 is because the NH3 is lighter. Nitrogen is basically 14 grams uh, per mole, and hydrogen is 1 per mole, and there's 3 hydrogens, so 3 plus 14 is 17. To whereas, say, chlorine is like a 35, and hydrogen is a 1, so that's a 36. So since this is the lighter one, it travels faster, and that's why they're not met dead even in the center. And this uh, illustration here helps explain this. Basically, the HCl uh, its vapor instead of traveling through the air uh, moves slower than the air would between the ammonia and the air. You know, it, it moves faster. Whew. Okay, uh, you like the sound effect? <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, look at our problem for today. Uh, you will need a periodic table to do this one. So, uh, like I said, this will be the last video. All right, here we have the following. <clears throat> we have uh, the question. Rank the following gases in order of increasing rates of effusion. Now, even if it would have said rates of diffusion uh, or effusion, it, it would be the same. You would work the problem the same way. So let's make a list. We have um, O2. We have argon. We have CO2. We have N2. We have HE. And we have SO2. These are our following gases. Now we need a periodic table. Now on our periodic table, oxygen is a 16. Okay, so basically on oxygen, we've got two oxygens. So that's 2 times 16.00. So basically we have 32.00 grams of oxygen. Okay, argon, if you look up argon on the periodic table, argon is a 39.95. And we've only got one of those. So that's one of those at 39.95. So basically that's going to be 39.95 grams of argon. Now the CO2, you've got one carbon. And that one carbon, if you look on your periodic table, is 12.01. Plus, then you got the two oxygens. So basically, you end up having 12.01 plus 32, which adds up to uh, 44.01 grams of CO2. Okay, so, so far we've got 32 grams of O. We've got 39.95 grams of AR. We've got 44.01 grams of CO2. Now the nitrogen, we got two of those. If you look up the nitrogen, notice that we got 14.01 of those. Okay, so that's 14.01 of those on, uh, as far as grams. So basically, that's going to be 28.02 grams 
of nitrogen. Okay, so we got that one. Alright, now, uh, helium. That's the easy one. Helium is four. We only got one of those. So basically, that tells us that helium is 4.00 grams of helium. And sulfur, if you look at it on the periodic table, sulfur is 32.07. Okay. But we also have two oxygens. So we have 32.07. Uh, plus 32, so we end up having 64.07 grams of uh, SO2. All right, now <clears throat> remember the lightest gas moves the fastest. So the question stated that they wanted us to put these in order of what? Oh no, we have to look again. Rank the following gases in order of increasing rates of effusion. So increasing rates. means in increasing uh, order, meaning if you're increasing, then that means small to large. <coughs> you know, basically from small or slow to fast, because it says an increasing rate. So the fastest would be to the right, okay? So, looking at these, uh, the, s the slowest, well, it looks like it'd be the 64, doesn't it? Yep. So, it'd be SO2 is the slowest. Okay. The next slowest would be what? I see 44.01. That's the CO2. Okay. What's the... Uh, well, after that, then if that's the slowest, that's you know, then that's right behind that. Uh, well, what's just a little bit faster than CO2? Uh, is there anything close to 44.01? Yes, argon, AR. Okay, anything else? Um, I see 32 right here on oxygen, so uh, O2 would be. Anything else now? Um, I see 28. Yeah, and then N2, and finally. The fastest of them all would be helium. So helium would be the fastest. And you can see this by their mass. I'll write their mass numbers down here so you can clearly see this. Their mass is basically went uh, 64, CO2 was 44, um, you know, these were grams, by the way. Uh, argon was, say, 40. Okay, and then O2 was 32, and N2 was 28, and finally helium was 4. Okay, so basically if you look at this, if the f one with the fastest rate of effusion is helium at 4 grams, this is an inverse relationship because, you know, here as the size is going down, the rate of infusion is increasing. Now remember, this trend applies to rates of effusion and rates of diffusion. So just find the molar masses, guys, and uh, then you just put them in order. So just be careful when you read this because uh, you have to make sure you follow the directions precisely. Increasing rates in order of increasing rates of effusion. So there's the, in the increasing rates of effusion. All right, guys, I hope this helps, and just watch it a couple of times. You'll be all right. Now the time's for the credits.